Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today, we're on episode number 121. And today we're going to be going over the Shirley module. And if you've ever used a URL shortening service like Bitly or any of those other tiny URL shortening services, then you may, well you probably already understand what the Shirley module does. Basically it allows you to implement your own URL shortening service, service just by installing a Drupal module. So it's relatively easy to set up and get started, but before we do, as always, I'm Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can also go to codecrowdy.com and sign up for the newsletter over here on the left. Today's sponsor is Drupalize.me. Drupalize.me is one of the best places to learn about Drupal and jQuery. They provide tons of useful videos. Some of them are free, so go ahead and browse their videos. And if you do decide to sign up, which I highly recommend, use the coupon code CK20FEB and you'll get 20% off. So let's go ahead and get started. I already have the Shirley module downloaded and installed on the Drupal site. So if I do a quick search, you can see it comes with two modules, Shirley and Shirley Service, and I'll show you what the difference is or what each one does here in a second you can make or make sure you configure the permissions correctly I'm not gonna worry about that in this case but you can set permissions is pretty flexible I'm just gonna go ahead and click the configure option so you can see what options you have basically it limit it lists all the roles on your site and you can limit how many requests each role can actually place so since I only have administrators as the only role that can create short URLs only administrators are shown here but if you allowed anonymous users or authenticated users you'd have other options and you can limit how many they can actually submit in a specific period of time and that's just to make sure you don't have anyone abusing your URL shortening service so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and click create URL so I'll go ahead and go to drupalize.me and find a video here I'll just select the first video. You can see it's a relatively long URL. So I'm going to copy this URL here. And I'm going to come back to our test Drupal site. And keep in mind, my URL isn't exactly short here, test4.codecrowdy.com, but this can be whatever you need it to be. So if you own a shorter domain, you can, of course, make use of this, and it'll make a lot more sense. So I'm going to drop in the entire URL. I can specify my own URL here if I want, or I just click shrink, and it will create one for me. I can copy this over here, and I'll go ahead and paste it in. You can see it's only three extra characters on the end of my full domain here, and I click enter, and of course it redirects me directly to the site. So as you can see, really easy to get started really easy to use all you need to do to get this functionality is turn on the Shirley module and you can click the create URL page which is just at slash Shirley and you can start creating your own URLs the other thing to notice here is there's a my URLs page each user has their own URLs page and this is just a view so it's just using the Drupal views module but it tracks how many clicks have actually been created or actually have been clicked through so if I go here and do this again and I come back it does actually f it knows enough that it doesn't count duplicate clicks but it what it does is it just tracks how many people have clicked on this link so if you create this shorter shortened link and, and send it out through a uh, Facebook post or Twitter it'll go ahead and track how many people have actually clicked on that link and used it to redirect to wherever the long URL is that you're trying to redirect to. It also list the date, when it was last used. So let's go ahead and grab another one here. I'm just going to grab a Code Karate video and I'll drop this in. And this is Code Karate video, episode 120, so I'm going to create my own URL. It's going to shrink it. 
and I can copy it, paste it in. You can see it's my whatever URL I wanted, which is CK120. I hit enter, and it of course brings me to the Code Karate page. Come back to my URLs, and of course you can see both of them are listed. I can get rid of the ones I no longer want to redirect. There's also a short URLs page, which lists, as you can see, a couple other URLs that have been here in the past that I was that are de now deactivated. But it just lists all the URLs on the site, allows you to filter it. This is again just another view, so you can keep in mind on how this module makes use of the views module to create its administrative interface and the other interfaces that it uses. Now we're going to actually take a look at what this other module that comes with it allows you to do. This is where it gets really cool if you wanted to build your own completely functional URL shortening service. So there's a Shirley service module which is turned on and I'm gonna go ahead and open up the readme files. The f this first readme file is just the readme file for the entire or the main Shirley module. You can go ahead and read this over. It's similar to what's on the Drupal.org page, so there's not much new there. But in, if I go ahead and open up the module, there's a Shirley underscore service directory, and there's a readme.txt file. So if you open that up, it tells you how you can use basically a web service to go ahead and create the actual short URLs from either using an API call and getting JSON back or a text format, XML, you can get a PHP serialized array back. So there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can go ahead and automatically create these URLs. So you could build this into uh, some other website that you're building to automatically shorten it could be built into a Twitter tool something like that you could basically use your imagination to find a lot of ways you can use this so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it works so I'm gonna take this example here and I will come up here and paste it in I'm gonna of course have to change this to test karatecom it's gonna be slash Shirley slash API shorten the long URL, I will go ahead and grab another Daily Dose of Drupal video. And I will drop this into the long URL portion. Now if I hit enter, you can see it returns a JSON string. JSON string says it was successful, which is true. There's no errors. Here was the long URL that you submitted, and now here's the new short URL. You can you can see that the slashes are uh, they they have a trailing or a leading backslash to escape the slashes, but it gives you the URL that you could then use that JSON to use in whatever program you're writing. You can of course change the format just by adding this little format indicator at the end of it. So if I want a text format, simply add this ampersand format equals text and now I just get the actual URL in plain text format. If I go to it, it will of course redirect me to the page or the long URL that I was saving. You can also change it to XML format, PHP format. It mentions how you can use API keys simply by going to this URL here and it will give you the API key that you can then use so as you can see it's an extremely flexible way an extremely simple way to build out a fully functional URL shortening service similar to bit.ly or tiny URL or any of those other URL shortening services that are out there it's a drop-in module you simply drop it in turn it on do a tiny bit of configuration if necessary and you have yourself a working URL shortener this can be used as a complete service, as I've shown here, or it can be used on top of you know, other modules on your Drupal site if you wanted this to be just a portion of it. 
its main focus is or main purpose is to actually be a complete service so it's you your main sites the whole goal is to just be a URL shortener but like I said it can work both ways go ahead and give it a try and let me know what you think thanks again to drupalize.me for sponsoring this episode of the daily dose of Drupal if you'd like to become a sponsor simply go to codecrowdy.com click on the daily dose of Drupal and click on the code karate sponsorship page link here gives you a lot of information and you can go ahead and contact me through there thank you for watching the daily dose of Drupal and I will see you next time